In this problem, we have another, uh, we have a tailwind and a headwind. Um, and this is just kind of a goofy problem. Um, I, I don't know, it's just kind of goofy, okay? It says, with a tailwind, a cougar can run 51 miles in 45 minutes. Um, it's pretty fast, by the way. With a headwind, he can run 70 miles in one hour, 40 minutes. Find his speed and the speed of the wind. Okay, this will be fun. Make your little box. Equation one and equation two. If you're wondering if there's a reason that I'm making my box so small, the answer is, yeah, there is a reason I'm making my box so small because this problem is kind of big. Okay, so we do rate, times, and distance. Now, we do know the distance is 51 miles and for um, the first equation, and for the second equation, we know that the distance is 70 miles. Now, what we have to be careful with is um, the time, okay? Do you guys know that 45 minutes is really point, or three-fourths of an hour? Are you aware of that, that 45 minutes is three-fourths of an hour? Okay, I think you know that. But do you know what one hour and 40 minutes is? Because since we're talking, since this is like in miles an hour and stuff, we really kind of need it to be in all in hours. Well, you're going to do this, 1 plus 40 out of 60. And that's how you change it, okay? So this is really 1 plus 2 thirds, because 40 out of 60 is actually 2 thirds. And then when we go ahead and fix that up, that should become 5 over 3, okay? So that's a very important part to this lesson. So the 3 fourths of an hour goes in for this time, and the 5 thirds of an hour goes in for the second time. It says nothing about his rate except for the fact that we need to find it. So a tailwind is R plus W, and the headwind is R minus W. The first one because it's helping, and the second one because it's working against. Now let's make our fun-filled equations. Ready? This one will be R plus W times 3 over 4 equals 51. And this one down here will be five, oh, excuse me, R minus W times 5 over 3 equals 70. Now we can distribute in at this point in time, but if you're like me, you were really wishing that those fractions did not exist. Am I right? Let's get rid of the fractions. Multiply the top equation by 4, multiply the bottom equation by 3. If you can kind of get rid of what you don't like, there's no reason not to. But what I'm not sure is if you actually know how to. When you distribute the 4 and you technically only have to distribute into the 3 fourths and to the 51 because after you'll redistribute something else in so you don't want to like do double duty here. When you distribute the 3 in you'll distribute it to the 5 thirds and you'll distribute it to the 70. Let's rewrite our equations. Let's make them a little easier to work with, okay? So this simply becomes 3 fourths times 4 is 3 and that's for R plus W. Notice I put it in the front. Now 51 times 4 is 204. Okay, let's distribute this 3 into 5 thirds. Well, 3 times 5 thirds is just a 5. Notice I put it in the front. R minus W equals 3 times 70 is 210. You might want to distribute again, okay? Or some people might notice that you can divide a 3 out of the top and a 5 out of the bottom. You want to try that? It's different than the last one. It's not necessary, but it will be kind of helpful. If you divide both sides by 3 up here, you... I just realized that I made a mistake and I have to go back and fix this problem. So sorry for the break um, or for the interruption. Um, when you divide, we can go ahead and divide both sides by 3. I think I already said that in my last video. Um, when you divide both sides by 3, and this is where I made kind of a silly mistake. Um, when you divide both sides by 3, you get 2, or excuse me, where is it at? 
you get 68. Okay? I accidentally said 64 in my last video, and that was wrong. Um, so let's go ahead and just, we can also divide this one by 5. Now when we divide this one by 5, let's see, we get 42. So we get R minus W is 42. Okay. Now that we have both equations, we can go ahead and look at them. And if I kind of box them off like this, I hope you guys see linear combo works really well. We can cancel out the W's. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to do it right here so I can save some room in the future. Cross off your W's, and that's 2R equals 110. When you divide both sides by 2, you get 55. Okay. When we get one answer, we can take our one answer and go back and plug it in. So I'm going to, did you get that? So I'm going to move the paper. I'm going to take R and plug it in. I want to pick this equation, this R plus W equals 68. R plus W equals 68. Plug in R, so 55 plus W equals 68. Subtract, and W equals 13. So you can make your therefore statement and say, therefore, the rate of the cougar, C-O-U-G-A-R, without wind is 55 miles an hour. And we remember, we fixed that, okay? And um, so we don't have to use minutes or anything. We fixed that by using three-fourths and five-thirds. And the wind is 13 miles an hour. Okay, next video or next section, we'll go ahead and do example seven. As we approach number seven, it's probably important for me to tell you that I do know this problem is entirely impossible, but it's fun and whatever so we're gonna do it anyway it gets the point through um, so a dog can stream, stream a dog can swim upstream at 30 miles a minute and it can go downstream at three times that rate pretty fast right how fast is the dog how fast is she in still water so if, like there was no current or anything or she's just, like in a lake or something like that all right let's go ahead um, we set up our chart if you find it necessary it, honestly this one's gonna be a little kind of neat um, it's just something different so we have rate times and distance. We have with the current, um, or in other words, that with the current would be downstream, right? And you have against the current, against the current would be upstream. And they actually give us the rates on those. Just remember um, that with current problems, with you would do R plus C and with against you would do R minus C. But what's nice is they actually give us values here. They say upstream, she will be going 30 miles a minute. So 30 miles a minute, that would be against, okay? Upstream would be against. So we'll put 30 in here, okay? And then it says downstream is three times that rate. Well, three times 30 is 90. Now, they don't say anything about the time and they don't say anything about the distance. So that's okay because if we know that 90 is replacing R plus C and we know that 30 is replacing R minus C since that's kind of what we know in these boxes, we're good to go with elimination straight away. We actually don't need time and distance. 90 and 30 makes 120. R and R makes 2R and the C's cancel out. Isn't that kind of nice? And then you get R is 60. Now that is her rate in the still water because that's what R stands for. R is still water. H2O. Okay. Is this problem absolutely ridiculous? Um, yeah, definitely. Because we would say uh, therefore, she can swim 60 miles in a minute. Wow, that's outstanding, right? That's a pretty fast puppy, okay, and absolutely impossible. But what my main idea on this problem was that you could see sometimes we have enough information even though it might not look like it. Okay, let's flip to the back when we have one more. Yay, number eight. Mr. Billy is three times as old as his son. 13 years ago, so in the past, uh, Mr. Billy was six years more than eight times as old as his son then. Wow, a lot of words are happening in this problem. Find each of their ages now. Well, this sounds like fun. Let's call Mr. Billy B, and let's call his son, I don't know, let's make up a name for him so our initials are not B and S. Um, why don't we just call his son Fred? How's that? We'll call him 
Bob, Billy, and Fred. Here we go. Um, or you could even do dad and son if you want. Billy is three times as old as his son. And remember, we're going to pretend his name is Fred. Uh, Mr. Billy, here we go. Mr. Billy B is equals three times, three times as old as his son. And we are calling him F for Fred. Let's keep going. 13 years ago, Mr. Billy was. Hmm, let's think about this. 13 years ago for Mr. Billy would be Billy minus 13. Okay? He was six years more than, so we're gonna do equals, six years more than, remember that goes in the back. We talked about that briefly. You learned it in chapter one with Mr. Lankus. He was eight times, so back then he was six years more than eight times as old as his son was then. So we gotta use parentheses, and his son back then was F minus 13, okay? So we have Mr. Bali and we have his son, Fred. We have two equations, and if you ask me, this equation really sets itself up well for a substitution. If you want to try another method, go for it. I'll tell you right now, you should get 51 and 17. Um, let's plug it in and see how we do. So we're going to replace this B with 3F minus 13 equals, I'm going to distribute at the same time, this guy, so I'm going to get 8F minus when I distribute in, 8 times 13 is 80 and 24, so 104 plus 6. And then I'm going to start combining my like terms. So this is 3F minus 13 equals 8F, and negative 104 and 6 makes a negative 98, so minus 98. Sorry about the, the light. I'm trying to block it off here so it looks proper. Um, now let's take... I'm going to take the 3F to the left, the right because I like to keep the variables positive, and I'm going to take the 98 over at the same time, okay? So when we do that, I get 5F over here, right? And when you add 98, you are going to get 85. When you divide each side by 5, you get Fred or his son. Remember, we just named his son Fred you get 17 for his son. That is how old Fred is right now. So all we have to do now is go back up to the box and plug it in to find out how old Mr. Billy is. Mr. Billy is three times his son's age, times Fred. So Mr. Billy is 51 years old. So there we go, we can make our little therefore statement. We can say therefore, Mr. Billy is 51 years old. And his son is 17. And if you wanted to see if that's right, just kind of go through and check it out. See if it makes sense if, to the sentences. Is Mr. Billy three times as old as his son? Yes, because 51 is 3 times 17. 13 years ago, so 51 minus 13, you would do that, and you would see if that's 6 more than 8 times 17 but you got to back off 13 first because of 13 years ago. So you can always check them out to see if it's right. Now that's the end of your notes. Um, we'll see you tomorrow in class to do some more fun word problems. Don't forget though, you're going to have a quiz on 6-1 through 6-4 pretty soon. And we'll talk about that tomorrow. In fact, your quiz is going to be on Monday. All right, have a good night, guys.